Okay, coming to you live from Burnett, Texas. And trying to get my notes. There we go. This is a Panther Panthers primetime on KMAX Sports. Coming to you live from Burnett, Texas. Liberty Hill versus Burnett. And I'm just waiting for the test to make sure that we're we're A-OK. -okay. But I think we'll probably just announce the match, Sounds do good. some adjustments as we uh, go along, and here we go. Okay, so like we said, it's the uh, Panthers primetime on KMAX Sports. I'm Eric Holt filling in for, uh, not sure who I'm filling in for, but it's a very special treat tonight to do uh, Liberty Hill Sports. We're joined by a very special guest, Heather Stoner, doing <laughs> color. And you may not know Heather Stoner, <laughs> but she's amazing. Shout out to all my fans out there. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> my kids, essentially. All the peeps. Yeah. There we go. Um, all right, so Liberty Hill comes out. They are in pink this evening. Burnett sporting the mean green. And do you have the uh, lineups over I there sure that do. I can share as well? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Do we ha just have one for Burnett? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just put that right there so we can take care of it. This is Burnett's going to serve. Uh, serve is a uh, hit to the back row. Quick little set. Good dig by Burnett. Soft over. Good dig. Good set from Liberty Hill. Hammers it down, and that goes out of bounds. Just like we talked about, Miss Stoner, that's that's well, you, right? Well, I was going to correct <laughs> you and say, I don't know, just a little learning opportunity for you. That's sure. called a uh, down ball when they just stand and attack the ball without jumping from the back row. Okay. So if you'd well, like to use proper terminology for it's our, a down ball. For okay, our thank you. <laughs> listeners who are savvy to the volleyball speak. Good serve from Liberty Hill and set up to the back end. It's just going to be set over. Liberty Hill sets up their offense. Going to be a fake hit. He's, that was uh, number 12, Lily Wilkins. I wouldn't say this miscommunication as much as maybe the set wasn't quite out far enough for her. She tried to make it work with that tip over, but didn't quite make it over. All right, 1-1. One, one. Burnett and Liberty Hill. There's the set. The hit from the back row. That was number 6 for Liberty Hill, Emily Huppy. That hit the net, so Burnett's going to take a 2-1 lead. That's a back row attack from pretty far behind the 10-foot line. That's tough to hit. Kylie Davis to serve for Burnett, who's going to serve it just a little long. That'll even up the score at 2. And this is number 2, Kinsey Amiscala? Escamilla. Escamilla, excuse me. Nice serve, and that attack for Burnett hit by number 5, Michaela Whitus. Just a little bit long there. Just a little long. There's a serve for Liberty Hill, and that Ooh. is going to go just a touch long. Just a little bit. It was close. So I noticed here Liberty Hill seems to be running a 5-1, which means they're setters in the front row right now. They only have two attackers. And that's a nice serve. Set. Yep. Oh, great set by number 10, Emma, uh, Emma Parsons. Only two attackers, but your setter essentially kind of becomes an offensive weapon. So when they jump, the block jumps with them and leaves your hitter with a single block. There's a back row attack from Burnett, and that's a great dig from Liberty oh. Hill. Oh, There it is. There's that offense. So number 10. Emma Parsons. Emma Parsons there's with your, the, uh, we used to call it the dump in the back <laughs> in the old days. <laughs> she dumped the ball over into the middle of the court. It's pretty awesome. Well, and you know, with, with the Liberty Hill offense, you've got to play um, as a nice serve. Nice and serve. that serve Over is going pass. to, yeah. Smart play by middle blocker, number four, Allison Van Claveren. Well, and it was a, it was a good aggressive serve. The, the, the return just went over, and she said, eh, we'll, we'll end this point yeah, right now. Yeah, we don't need to be a showboat. Right. We'll just get it over, just onto the ground. Ooh. There's a set from... 
from Burnett. And you know, with that second ball up in the air as that ball hits the, uh, hits the ground on the Liberty Hill side, what they were trying to do, it looked like there was a little confusion about who was going to get that second ball. Serve from Burnett. That's nice up and nice, nice, nice defense by Burnett as they get it over. We're going to reset. Inez Reyes with the hit from great Burnett. There's the set. A really nice set there by Liberty Hill as it was close to the net, and they're just they're they're trying to just reset their offense a little bit. And we're going to have a free ball over set from Liberty Hill, and there's the hammer. That was number 15, Mackenzie. Wukash. Wukash. Nice job. And that was a lot of back and forth there, a lot of back and forth. And you were, ju you just got the feeling that Liberty Hill was just like, okay, hold on. Give right. us a second yeah. and let us put this let down. Let us run our offense, and then we will end this play. There's a serve from Liberty Hill. Set outside, and it's going to be dug by Liberty Hill. Set back to Liberty Hill. And, again, put down by number six, Emily Huppy. I like Liberty Hill's offense. I mean, it's quick, it's smart. That setter's calling different plays every time, mixing it up. And Burnett has a little trouble with the serve, but they're able to get the s get it over. And that the first ball goes out of bounds. Ball will go back to Burnett. So this is that looks like number 16, Kayla Gillespie. Outside hitter hitting for Burnett or serving for Burnett. Well dug by Liberty Hill. Pushed right out. Hmm. I thought there was a touch there, but maybe I was Kinda wrong. I have an amazing angle on the play. So it's now uh, Burnett 6, Liberty Hill 8. Serve again. And Ooh. and that was a nice serve, and that went off the back of the gym. That'll even up the or Serving can be a little dangerous, right? So yeah. she gets back there, she gets a couple good serves, gets loose, starts serving even harder. 8-7, mm -hmm. Liberty Hill leading. There she goes, yep. Man, that's a, just hit straight up, and Liberty Hill's going to bump that over. It's going to bounce off the net, set from Burnett, and well dug, and the Burnett had a nice hit. Ooh. And oh, that's a good swing, though. From the back row, she put some power into that one. Kinsey Escamilla, that was a good swing. Yeah, she that swung. That was out by an inch, probably. Yeah, she swung from right to left. It went across, just went off the... Uh, the, the tied up. Yep, tied up, 8-8. Eight, eight. Here's the serve, and that's going to go long. Well, they needed that momentum break for yep. sure. Now we've got number 10, Emma Parsons, back to serve for Liberty Hill, leading 9-8 to eight in set one. Game one. And nice... Up by number 15, Einza Reyes. It's going to be kicked over to the Liberty Hill side. Liberty Hill gets a nice swing on the ball. Burnett digs it up well. Nice dig by number 10, Emma Parsons. Emma Parsons is going to hit that from the back row, dump that from the back row, if you will. It's standing and hit. And that's going to be – what was the call on that I one? actually didn't, <laughs> I didn't see. I was going to correct your down ball. The dump is where she goes, tries to set it. Just uh, I, I'm just trying to I'm, learn I, here. Okay. I know, you're learning. It was Ooh, Emma Parsons with the serve. Oh. And, well, that was number five. McKaylee. I think that was White. going out. I think she got lucky on that one. Well, and her team was telling her it was going out, and she yeah. would, she just tried to let it go at the last second. Yeah, her body got in between the ball and the out of bounds. Emma Parsons to serve again. A little jump serve. She jump serve the first yeah. time. Hey, a nice up from Burnett. Nice swing and really nice up by Emma Parsons, but... No one's able to get to it, so that'll go back to the Burnett side. Liberty Hill leading 11-9, and this is number 15. Inez. Inez. Inez Reyes. Nice low serve, and that, boy, that floated just over the net. Yeah, that's an interesting service seat. You'll see they really are like a two-and-a-half man service seat. They have basically two people receiving the serve, and then one person the 10-foot line. That's a lot of faith in your passers, so just have two people back <laughs> yeah, like that. Is. And that serve goes out of bounds. Burnett's going to stay in this. They can't give him free points. Ashley Nelson back to serve for the Panthers. The libero, if you will. 
That was a nice up, nice set for Burnett, and it looks like they had two hitters going for it. That's <laughs> usually not what you want. Nice swing from uh, Liberty Hill, but that's going to oh, be touched. touched. Yeah. Sometimes you want two hitters going for it if it's a fake, <laughs> but not on the back row. <laughs> right, now that they're like kind of bumping into each other. Yeah. That's going to be a timeout called by Burnett. So we'll take a quick, take a quick breath here. Um, Liberty Hill leading 13 to 10 in uh, the first game. Hold on, we're still on the air. Like, you can't talk to me right now. <laughs> well, I can't talk to you. <laughs> sorry. The head the I'm sorry, well, I'm an the amateur. <laughs> the we are t the 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 action's going to take a break, but we don't <laughs> I have. We, I we went to <laughs> our sponsors. <laughs> no. <laughs> if we go to commercials, then you'll hear something I'm in so your sorry. earpiece. There. I am so unprofessional. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> <That is> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We'll get it together. Uh, luckily, timeout's over. Yeah, So, um, thirteen ten, Liberty Hill leading. I was actually looking uh, for our sponsor. I wanted to give us a uh, sponsor uh, shout out. Ashley Nelson back serving for the Panthers. Oh, that's a good line drive serve nice. and a Ooh, good save. nice save by Burnett. And that's uh. that was a nice set, a little tight to the net. And now Burnett's gonna hit that over. Good return by Liberty Hill. Nice set goes outside and nice up by Burnett again. And they're gonna push that over Ooh. and that's gonna bounce just off the net. Liberty Hill setting up their offense and finally put down by number 10, Emma Parsons. Uh, number two, actually. Oh, number two. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I, I admire her swing. Um, yeah, Kinsey Escamilla. She's got a really good, strong swing, uses her whole body. Ashley Nelson to serve and nice low serve. Good up five burn. great up. And there. Oh. Ooh. Boy, that was a great hit. I believe that was number 12, Carissa Killebrew. Hit into the block from Liberty Hill, but that went out of bounds. So the scoreboard reads 14-11, but I think it should read 13-12. Well, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. And there's a serve from Burnett. Great up by number Very 15. Great pass. Oh, oh uh, we'll, we'll Sorry. take that. Yep. <laughs> and put down by number two, Escamilla. She took advantage of that uh, first ball over, you can double hit rule. Sure. Yeah. 15-11, Liberty Hill leading, and this is number six, Emily Huppy, back to serve. And nice low line drive. Good up by Burnett, and they're going to hit that. It's going to hit the turf. That was number two, Kylie Taylor. Kyla Taylor, I'm sorry. And this is number 11 check into the game. Kylie Davis for Burnett. 15 12, Liberty Hill leading. Set by Emma Parsons. Good up by Burnett, and they're going to hit the net. I believe so. It was a great hit. I didn't see who hit that because I'm honestly trying to see who set it. And then, you know, you look down to see the score, and then something else happens. That's the beauty of volleyball. It's a yeah. pretty fast paced game. So now their setter's back in the front row. This is always my favorite time. Escamilla to serve, and Ooh. she is going to bullet. Yeah, that was a bullet. <laughs> hard to re hard to return, and I like how she went right for the libero. Yep. Oh, you're back there specializing in this. I'm still going to serve. <laughs> and that's going to go. Burnett's going to tip that over, and Liberty Hill's going to tip that back right back. Back row attack. It was called. So the setters in the back row. She jumped and hit the ball over. That's illegal. If you're in front of the ten foot line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Escamilla to nice serve. She is, she is really going after Ooh, it. And hit. whistle and double hit on yeah, Burnett. Not a very clean contact on that set. 19-12. Liberty Hill starting to pull away here a little bit in the first game. Escamilla to serve. Low line drive. And oh, that was number 12. Um, Lily Wilkins tried to put the hammer down on that as the, the ball from Burnett was just a one ball over. Wilkins tried to hammer it down, just put it right into the net. Kyla Taylor to serve for Burnett. Nice pass. Nice pass, nice set, and nice hit by number 12, Lily Wilkins. 
Nice pass makes that possible. Without that, you can't run that offense. That was a nice quick back set. That is uh, number six, Emily Huppy. Huppy. Great defense. Yeah. yeah, we'll call the double hit on Bernard on that I one. Intrinsically, like, I can't stop myself from making a noise when it's an <laughs> ugly hit. Like, ooh, ooh. that's not probably legal, but. Lily Wilkins to serve for Liberty Hill. And Bernard's going to hit that. They'll go free ball over ooh. and. The free the ball <laughs> kill. Yeah. Well, that was frustrating because, you know, if you are Liberty Hill, you're like, God, they just, they gave us that. Yeah. Point and we just weren't able to, to capitalize on it. Free ball that did not turn out well. Burn it to serve. It was kind of a free ball right in the right area. Yeah. And that ball is hit down by number four, Allison Van Cleveran. Van Cleveran. 22 14. Liberty Hill leading. This Back to it. serve is Mackenzie oh. Wukash. Wukash. Nice defense by Escamilla. Uh, and big swing, big hit by number 15. Woo, Cash. Interesting is that I, I felt pretty confident she was on the 10-foot line when she jumped, but they didn't call for back row attack. So good for her. Nice swing, though. Woo, Cash to serve. And Burnett's going to... Not a bad idea to mix it up with a roll shot. Just yeah. didn't quite make it to their their hole in their defense, which I would say is the middle of the court. Right. It's typically the hole in a 24-14, Liberty Hill leading. There's a serve, bump, set, spike, and she hit that hard, and they are going to give that to Liberty Hill. I thought maybe there was a touch, but apparently not. That ball goes out of bounds, and so that is game one. want to thank Liberty Hill Construction they are a leading construction company specializing in single-family infrastructure, locally, er locally owned, and service the greater Austin area. They are proud supporters of Liberty Hill Volleyball. Go Panthers! We're going to take a quick break. It is primetime Panthers, right? Mm -hmm. Panther primetime? Pan I think it may be Panther primetime. Panther primetime. That sounds better. Anyways, uh, Panther primetime. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Coming to you live from Burn It. If I can get this thing. Panthers up one game to none. <laughs> Thank you. Good fill. Just trying to kill <laughs> good 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 Fill about dead 10 more seconds. Yeah, dead air. Oh, wait. I'm on the wrong computer. That's why I'm not finding what I'm. Sorry about that. Good. Sorry, folks. Still, still we're on. Still, yeah, we're still on. Just <laughs> 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 give it about 10 more seconds. We'll be okay. All right, it is the Panther prime time. Do you love the game of football, wish you could be part of the action? Then become a football official. The Austin Football Officials Association is actively seeking new members to officiate games all across Central Texas. The Austin Football Chapter of TASO, the Texas Association of Sports Officials, provides a two-year training program for new members. Taught by a crew of veteran officials, these training classes meet each Monday night from July through November and include classroom and on-field instruction. You don't need to be an ex-player or a coach to become a great official and have a memorable officiating career. As our officials will tell you, working around student athletes at all levels of football is gratifying. Plus, you'll develop lifelong friendships with other officials who share your passion for the game. Officiating football is a great way to get into and stay in shape, be a positive role model for student athletes, retain your competitive edge, and earn additional income. Visit the Austin Football Officials Association online at afoa.ws for more information. That's afoa.ws. Purchase a copy of this or any KMAC broadcast for personal use and portions of the proceeds go to your school. Whether you're making a highlight video or just want to be able to enjoy this game years in the future, send us a note to info at kmaxsports.com. That's I-N-F-O at kmaxsports.com. We can even do some editing for you for a small fee. Purchase any broadcast for personal use. Hit us up. Info at kmaxsports.com. Bringing your teams and your highlights to you. We are KMAX Sports. Two, three, hit. More coverage of your high school teams. Let's just say we keep it real. And you know this. 
man. This is the KMAX Sports Network. All right, it's the KMAX Sports Network. Panther Prime Time. Coming to you live from Game 2 now. Liberty Hill and Burnett. Liberty Hill won the first match rather soundly. It was close at the beginning. I really felt like it could go yeah, either way. Yeah, it was 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> I'm going to say, <laughs> really even, it, I think it was tied up. Like No, it was. It was yeah. right about 10 is yeah. where Liberty Hill put the, uh, put the hammer down. Ashley Nelson to serve for Liberty Hill. And nice hard serve. And that's going to be set over. Great Ooh, up. Wow. And Ashley Nelson is going to hit that back. Oh, a little slide there. Yeah. And there's a hit by El Emily Humpy. Humpy. And that hit from Burnett is going to land. Burnett's trying to get some momentum on their side, right? They're really excited about that first point. Trying well, to keep and that's it on their side. that's what you've got to do. Yeah, at, you know, absolutely. after that. After that first game, you just got to get back and say, look, we're here to play. Especially against a team that's as good as Liberty Hill is. Yeah. Hit from number 10, Emma Parsons just goes just out in the back. So this will be number four, Kylie Russell to serve. Nice up. And that's number 15, yep, Mackenzie. That's well, that's it. Yeah. Berta puts that deep into the back right corner. Not a hard hit, but well placed. But just found just just where yeah. it needed and to in be. in the end, it doesn't matter if it's hard or not as long as it hits the ground on the other team's side. That's right. How will Liberty Hill respond here? Yeah, down 3 nothing in game two. And Ooh. nice placement by number 12, Lily Wilkins. And Liberty Hill's offense doesn't get the big swing on that one. This goes back to the Burnett side. Ashley Nelson gets that up. And that goes to number six, Emily Hupke, who drives it down. Burnett's going to put that back. And Burnett again finds a little spot where they can hit the ground. Burnett comes out leading 4 nothing. Russell to serve. Nice up by Burnett. Set goes to... Not sure who that was that hit it for. I think it was number six. And that goes to number, I believe that was number 12. Number 12 uh, Lily Wilkins who put that down. Liberty Hill's on the board. So some good passes for Liberty Hill, just not really connecting from their setter right now. But back to serve. Number That's six. a nice low line drive. Emily Huppy again. Yep. Wow. Ooh. And that's going to go out of bounds on Burnett. They hit they uh, they hit it just long. Yeah, that four was close. to two. She yeah, swung at it. <laughs> yes, yeah, she did. I don't know that she meant to not hit it, but she didn't. So point Liberty Hill. Happy, nice serve to bring it to four to two. I can see that ball move. Yeah. Nice diving. Nice up save. by Burnett, and Liberty Hill's going to go outside the hit. Is dug up by Burnett. Burnett goes on the attack, and that goes long. Burnett's got to keep that ball in play if they want to stay in this. They were trying to let, let that go out, and it hit the Burnett defender in the foot on in, the line. In the court, yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, well that would have been in either yeah. way. Happy to serve her seventh serve now. Nice low line drive. Good dig by Burnett. They go on the attack. And nice up nice by Nelson. Say. And there's the nice. hit by number 15, Mackenzie Wukash. That was a great hit from left to right. She just went uh, angled across the court. Wow. So we're working on seven consecutive serves. That's impressive at the varsity level. Yeah, yeah. Nice floater. Nice serve. That's hard to handle. Good up from Burnett, and that's going to be a hit from the back row. Nelson to. There we go. That's well done. A good fake hit, and then hit coming from behind from Liberty Hill. Burnett digs it up. And. Oh, that was. Just cash just long. Yeah. 7 5, Liberty Hill leading. And this is going to be number 11, Kylie Davis, to serve for Burnett. And that's Doug. That's 
smart shot right there. Little roll shot to the middle. Set goes to the outside, and that is hammered oh down. Yeah, yep, it. that was a beautiful hit by number two, Kinsey Escamilla. Am I saying that correctly? Uh, not. A, I don't think so. I think it's Escamilla. Escamilla. Yes. Yeah, don't say double the L. L. My bad. Escamilla. Double L, like tortilla. <laughs> it's double L. Escamilla to serve. She's got a nice floater, she too. She does it. Ooh, and that tight. set goes close to the net. Liberty Hill serving tough, which is making passing by Burnett tough, and they don't have wonderful passes, which is hard to run an offense. And you just got to be able to hit the ball well against Liberty Hill if you want to score some points. That is true. Escamilla to serve. She hits that bump set spike. And that is in. That was number five, Michaela Whitus. She found that line. That was close. Number three in the game for Liberty Hill, Morgan Flores. Oh, good. I don't think she's been in yet. Okay, yeah. And that serve goes into the net for Burnett. That'll go to Liberty Hill, 10-6. Uh, this is Flores to serve. No, that is not Flores to serve. It's that was Lily Wilkins. Wilkins to serve. And... Mackenzie Bukash had the right idea. Up there, overpass by Burnett. She was going to block it down. Unfortunately, she blocked it down on her own side, so point Burnett. White is to serve for Burnett. Bumps that spike. That's going to be number six. Emily Hupke bumps it over. And back row hit. May have gone out, but... It's close. That's yeah. a big hit from number 15. Blue cash. When she can when she's got time to get up and really haul off and hit that ball, she can connect and Yeah, she really she it hits there. it very very hard. I like how she mixes it up too. So she had that roll shot, perfectly good set. Roll shot it to the middle of the court. So they're not always expecting a hit. Right. Blue cash serves. Gets actually the return. Nice defense. That was Huppy Huppy on the hit over. Burnett digs it. Wukash hits it over. Burnett digs it. Low set, and that's going to go out of bounds. I do commend Burnett, though. They've done their homework. They know where the holes are um, yep. defensively in Liberty Hill, but Liberty Hill's just doing a good job of getting that ball in the middle of the court. Yeah, that. Uh, so you can explain that one. Oh, yeah. So setters front row on, on Burnett. So they're running that 5-1. So that your setter's able to jump up and basically attack the ball when she's in the front row. So they all thought she was going to set it. And then she's like, nope, I'm going to tip it over yeah. when you think I'm setting. And it just fell straight down. And that was a nice hit from Morgan Flores. Dug Ooh, up wow. well. Oh, wow. Great up by Wukash. One-hander there. Yeah. That was a nice hit. All right. Burn digs that over. Set goes out to. Wow. Good connection. Uh, Number six. Huppy. Emily Huppy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really good rally there. Back and forth. Back and forth. And after all that, yeah. the free ball wins it. The free ball kill. <laughs> yeah. By yeah, Burnett, just don't try to point. hit it hard. Just hit the free ball over. We'll be okay. I always said the free ball is always open and the whiff is always yeah. open. <laughs> you hit it and miss hit it, it tends to always be a kill. Serve from Burnett goes into the net. So Liberty Hill leading 13 to 9. And this is number 9, this, Emily Allred. This is interesting. In. Number 10 is the setter, um, Emma Parsons. She's now on the bench. Let's see what they're going to do. Nice low serve from Liberty Hill. That's going to go. Oh, that was a block by Allison Van Claveren. The uh, the bump just was a little tight to the net, and uh, they both went up to get it. Liberty Hill put it down. Something in Emily Allred's going to set here. Nice serve from Allred. That's going to be bumped back toward the court by Burnett. Oh, uh, it's tight. Oh. And. <laughs> It just went over, and Burnett, I think they tried to rush that one a little bit. On, you know, you with know, that one, just relax, bump it straight up, and play some defense. Those overpasses, like yeah. they, you just so badly want to cram it down there on the 10-foot line, <laughs> and then you hit the top of the tape, and it comes right back down. It's like, oh, dang it. Been there, done that. All right, there's a timeout on the ground. We're not going to go anywhere. Okay, But good we're going to take know. a break on the air, so uh, uh, on the court. you want me to stop talking is what you're saying. <laughs> well, no, you can keep talking. We just... I want you to keep talking. Don't say anything bad. Oh, oh, okay. okay right? Okay. I got you. Uh, it's 15-9.
Liberty Hill leading. Thank you. You're welcome. I uh, want to thank our sponsors. Don't forget Liberty Hill. Liberty Civil Construction is a leading construction company specializing in single family infrastructure. We are locally owned and service the greater Austin area. Proud supporters of Liberty Hill Volleyball. Go Lady Panthers. You know, one thing they told me about um, this this matchup, like burn it in Liberty Hill. Mm, what a rivalry. They are rivalries. Right? They are right down the road from each other, in uh, right down 29. This is Florida, Florida State. Yeah, it's got a name. What is it, the Battle of 29 or the... If it's not the Battle of 29, it should be, because that's pretty... <laughs> 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 Something like that. All right, I'm All excited to, to serve. see... Excited to see All Red set now. Here she goes, yep. Nice hit from Nelson to All Red, and she's going to put that... She's got pretty hands, though. Yeah. She makes it look pretty effortless. There. That was Escamilla on Just the hit. Long. Just It's always hard. I mean, she's a right she's a right side hitter, but she's right-handed. That's hard. Um, ideally, you want that person to be left-handed, but she does a great job on the right side. But it is hard. It has to cross your body before you hit it. There's a serve from Burnett, and the set goes pretty tight, and they're going to give that to Burnett. I believe somebody touched the net. Was that the call? I think um, she jumped and hit it over, so it was back row attack, but it was a very tight set, a tight pass. There was very little she could do with it. All right, there's, there's a good pass. Yep. Nice. That was a block by Burnett. Uh, that's questionable, but maybe they <laughs> called that. Burnett goes... Sets that to the outside. Nice hit. And Back row set. Wukash hit, rolls oh that yeah, over. Oh, front row. Yep. Escamilla rolls that over. Burnett returns. And that is number four. Allison Van Claverin. Claverin finally puts that down. Allred's got nice hands. Um, I wonder what grade she's in. That it's not on the roster here. Yeah. It, it would be... It would for next time. We'll ask Coach Peterson when she comes up. There you go. Ashley Nelson serves, and that goes out of bounds off of Burnett. Nice hard serve. And, uh, you know, we talk about this a lot with uh, with different volleyball teams, but, you know, if you can serve aggressively and, and take the put the team on the defensive from the very first, that's what you want to do. Oh, pancake by Liberty Hill. That was. On that defense. The, the setter tried to McKinney sneak that Lukash. over. Yep, she did. Oh, it's a little bit low there. Burnett bumps that spike, and it is blocked by Liberty Hill. Wukash to serve there to Escamilla, yeah. and that is a beautiful. What a great series there from Liberty Hill. You had a little bit of everything. Absolutely you did. But I think the highlight was the uh, was the, the, the pancake, pancake from, you from Wukash. Yeah. You don't see that very often. The setter tried to just sneak it over. And that's a nice low serve. Oh. From you know, Nelson. I'm not seeing a whole lot of jump serving in this game, and I'm going to say that I, I approve for what that's worth. Um, well, I've talked I to Jason a lot about this, about just the the investment return of a jump serve. You put a lot of effort into something that can you do almost the same staying on the ground. So that was a, not an ace, but a great serve by right. number four. Great serve. Burnett. Nice up from Ashley Nelson, but nobody home on the uh, on the second ball. 18-13, Liberty Hill leading game two. And there's a serve to Nelson. And nice hit from Ooh, can she get there? nine. And Burnett's not going to be able to get it over. Yeah, nice hit again, you know, on the, uh, on the Liberty Hill side. Uh, this is number eight, Ashley Dubs to hit for Not to serve. yet, Mr. Holt. Not so yet. My <laughs> bad. It's going to be a timeout, I believe, called by Burnett. We'll go along with that. Oh. Yeah, turn my, turn my mic down? I, I, no, I turn your mic up. Okay. He just keeps telling me to turn it up. I said, you, you don't have to listen. He's a little bit of a mic hog. He doesn't <laughs> like it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Quick timeout for Liberty Hill. They just basically said good job. Get back out there, finish yep, the game. Yep, let's finish it. It's 19-13 in game two. Ashley, oh, yeah, Dubs. Ashley Dubs will be serving for Liberty Hill in 19 seconds. I think the difference in this game has been passing, right? So Liberty Hill serving aggressively. 
Burnett just not able to run their offense. Their right. passes are pretty far off the net. That limits you to what you can what you can do as a setter. You can't run anything quick if you're at the 10-foot line, so then you basically are down to two sets. Ball's probably going to be off the net. You're going to give them a down ball, free ball, something that they're going to be able to just give right back to you. Dubs to serve for Liberty Hill. And that's a good hit from Burnett. It's going to find the floor. And a good pass. Yep. As Huppy checks in, maybe. I think she wants to. Yeah. There <laughs> she goes. Huppy checks in for Dubs. And this is number 11. Kylie Davis to serve to Huppy. And that ball goes out of bounds. That was a little bit low, so she kind of had to get under it. Yeah, it was and more just, of a serve. Just, just pushed it out. Yeah. 19-15. There's the serve from Burnett. Huppy bumps that up. Good off-speed shot by number two, Kinsey Escamilla. Burnett puts that back into the Liberty Hill side. Mm. Escamilla, oh that's a low set. Really well done. She just saved that. Uh, yeah. It was a low line drive set All that right, she got. All right, free ball opportunity here. And there we oh, go. Nice, oh, nice. Really nice up by number 11, Kylie Davis, who uh, took the hammer yeah, from Wukash. Yeah, Wukash <laughs> just hit it right to her. If yeah. she had just a little bit left or right, it would have been a kill. She, hit, she really hammered that one. Escamilla ended up putting that down yeah. for Liberty Hill. Nice hit on her part, too. I'm not taking stats, but if I was, I'd say she's uh, leading in kills tonight. Wukash? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Or Escamilla. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Wukash is close second. Nice up by Ashley Nelson on Good the burn it attack. And mm. Wukash hit it again. Yeah. Burn it dug it out. Escamilla with a bump. She's going to have to reach here. Yeah. Finessed over by And Wukash. that was very well done by Wukash, who just, you know, did all like she a could. Ballet. Yeah, yeah. Move. Little pirouette to get that well, over the net. Are we gonna do power or are we gonna hammer it down? We'll do just just a little touch today. Escamilla with the serve, nice low line drive to burn it. It's a nice pass. Bump set. Spike Escamilla bumps the return over and Wukash with the left. Nice hit. And that was a nice hit by number 15, Inez Reyes. I believe that's number 16. That's okay though. I called it. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. That was yeah. 16. I know this is Kayla Gillespie. Nice hit on her part. Kayla wants her, her props. Yes. Her yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. She was a good hit. Kaylee Russell to serve. And. Yeah. Great, great yeah. pass. Great pass by Emily Heppy. Started that all. You cannot underestimate just how important that first pass is. Wilkins back to serve for Liberty Hill. Nice Ooh, low serve. Yeah, right. well, uh, <laughs> well. She set that from her belly button. That's <laughs> right. not going to be a legal hit. I think if you just flip it up, right? <laughs> flip it up. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, when we play volleyball, yes. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely that's right. illegal. Here, not so much. Oh, nice. You practiced right. that. Hubby rolls that over, and oh. that was a kill attempt from Burnett, blocked by Liberty Hill. I don't know that I made it over. Or that it made it over, but that uh, finished the game for Liberty Hill. Yep. <laughs> All right, that's game two. That is game two. Liberty Hill leading two games to none. As Burnett tries to regroup and figure out how to make a just amazing comeback. That's here. right. That's right. It has been done before. We've seen it before. I've yeah. Yes, we have. Yeah. <laughs> we have. <laughs> yep. Last game we did yep. together. That's we, right. We unfortunately we were the losing team. In I that, know. I know. But you're right. It is possible. All right. It is. Uh, let's see. We're going to go thank Liberty Civil Construction, leading construction company specializing in single-family infrastructure, locally owned, and they service the greater Austin area. They are proud supporters of Liberty Hill Volleyball. Go Lady Panthers. Take a quick break right after this. Game three, Liberty Hill Burnett coming up next. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAC Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAC Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAC Sports broadcast any of those sports, 
just reach out to chuck at kmaxsports.com or merle at kmaxsports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMAX Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. At Austin Pets Alive, the mission is to promote and provide the resources, education, and programs needed to eliminate the killing of companion animals. That means more happy pets joining more happy families every single day. In fact, Austin Pets Alive has saved more than 25,000 dogs and cats since 2008. And you can help. Adopt a new family member, help out with a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, and we all have at least one of those, you are needed. Visit Austin Pets Alive com to get started. Austin Pets Alive, helping people help pets. You know when you're hanging at Lake Travis and you start craving pizza? Usually you panic and go hungry. Or worse, you make a pit stop at a sad food stand. But with Domino's Hotspots, you can get pizza delivered right to Arrowhead Park. In fact, now you can get Domino's delivered to over 50 outdoor locations around Lago Vista. No address required. When you order, enjoy any two or more medium two-topping pizzas for just $5.99 each every day. Two item minimum handmade pan pieces will be extra. Ask for limited time offer. Prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Restrictions apply. Visit Domino's.com for details on Domino's Hotspot. Byte Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Byte has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Byte, B-Y-P-E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Byte magazine today. Get in the game with Byte Media. All right, welcome back. It is Panthers primetime on KMAX Sports, powered by Vipe Media. Game three, Liberty Hill won the uh, first two pretty handily, I guess you could say. Eric Holt filling in for KMAX Sports tonight, joined by the one and only Heather Stoner, broadcaster extraordinaire. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, it is fun, though. Thank you for having me on. Well, thank you for joining me. It is a pleasure to be here and talk about my favorite sport. All right. This is number four, Kaylee Russell. To serve for Burnett. Well, I tell you what. Nice set. Nice hit. Starting with a great pass. This is going to be hard for Burnett. It's, it's hard to come back from two games to none. On the other hand, though, it's hard to finish a game. Well, right, you know. Right. But Tend to kind of maybe relax a little bit. Nice low line drive from Huppy, and that. They're not going to be able to hit that over, so 2 nothing. Liberty Hill jumps up on top. Huppy for the sort. Nice low line drive. Up from nice Burnett, set. goes back across, and... Goes into the net. That's a hard ball to set all the way over here on the left-hand side. Set it back to your right-side hitter. But that was actually a pretty good set, considering. Well, and you know, the hard thing is, um, you know, winning this, winning this third game, it's kind of human nature to relax a little bit yeah. as that ball goes into the net. 3-1, Liberty Hill leading. It's like, okay, we won the first two. We're good. We're good. And I think that's where right. the truly great teams – play their best game in game three. Well, a lot of times your coach will kind of make some right. adjustments to the lineup. and So far, though, I think this is looking... Oh, no. Something a little bit different here. Yep. Number Lily 11. Wilkins with the uh, kill for Kingman Liberty. Workman coming in to serve. Well, and that is a... Uh, so I think they have another set or two. I think Caitlin's probably going to set. Unless Kinsey surprises us. There's a hit. Nice, the nice serve. Pretty nice pass oh, from uh, from Burnett. And that's going to go out to Wukash. Wukash hits it. The return from Burnett. And nice, nice push. Great up from Burnett. Oh, man. And it's just the, the free ball is going to go just out of bounds. Yeah. But Burnett did a great job. They, um, I didn't see who that was, but somebody pushed to the back. Yeah, great placement. Workman to middle, serve. At the middle for Liberty Hill. Is that Lily, I think? Lily Wilkins. Roll shot over from Burnett. 
And there's the big kill from Woo Cash. Yeah, you can tell, man, when she's got time to get up and on top of it. Yeah, when yeah when that ball's in front of her, she is a she's she's a hammer. Curious what what grade she's in too. Yeah, it is six one. Liberty Hill jumps out quickly in game number three. Looks like Bird is not so sure they can come back. <laughs> right. You know? It is a beautiful gym here. Um, you know, in a really awesome. cool atmosphere as they uh, and, and the, uh, this is super classy that the, the, the chairs on the other side have backs like they're actual chairs. Wow. Good seating section here. Um, and so the, the gym's a beautiful place out it's here in Burnett. Yeah. I do see the Lady Dog roster. We have number two is KT. Yeah, interesting. Uh, okay, so number four, Kaylee Russell yeah. is Russell. Number Cute. five, Michaela Whitus is the Hulk. Number six, JC Morris, Macaroni. And these are these are up on the uh, these are these are up on the up up on the doghouse here, right? So they, these are the nicknames that they have on the team. Number seven, Caitlin Massey is Candy Bar. We'll go through more of those wow. later. As the serve oh, nice from floater. Workman, really nice serve. Good up from Burnett, and nice oh. block from Liberty Hill, and nothing is going right for Burnett right now. You know, no. he, uh, they get a pretty good up. Um, Liberty Hill could have lost that point pretty easily. Kind of went down the front of the blockers there. They were able to get it up. There's a serve from Workman. Bump set, spike, well, not a spike, but they're just going to float that over. I believe that was number two, Kayla, uh, Kyla Taylor. A well-placed tip. Yep. Just as good as a hit. That's right. That was my motto, at least, <laughs> college. Kyla Taylor to serve for Burnett. Ashley Nelson. Yeah, I thought that. They that came off her hands kind of uneven, so that's a double hit on the setter, Caitlin Workman. 7-3, Liberty Hill leading game three, I'm winning the, the first two. With the depth that Liberty, Hills has in their, Liberty Hill has with their setters. It's three different setters this game. Workman pushes that out to Escamilla. Escamilla. And, boy, I tell you what, Escamilla just had a dive and punched that. Uh, Burnett was not able to return it. 8-3 now. Lily Wilkins to serve for Liberty Hill. Boy, that's a mm, tough serve a right, there. right there. Good up from Burnett. See, how do you do that with one hand and it's like a perfect pass? Everything's right. up, yeah. Fortunately, the, the tip is in the net by McKenzie Wukash, but that was a really yeah, nice up. Wukash tried to just push that over and, and find that dead spot right on the other side as they were preparing for the block, but it didn't quite get over. Number six. J.C. Morris to serve, or Macaroni, as she's called here. <laughs> <laughs> Macaroni, great serve. That was a nice serve. Now we've got number seven, Caitlin Massey. We got that one, Candy Bar. Number eight, Katie Crow, is Purse. As that serve goes long. Side out, Liberty Hill. 9-5, Liberty Hill leading. And this is Wukash to serve. Back in the game, Emily Huffy. And that's going to be... Shank. Shank you very much, as we used to say. <laughs> yes. Number six on Burnett. Yep. And that's a tough serve from Wukash. And she'll go oh, right man. back in the same place. The hit oh goes over gosh. and over. Almost hit that tape again on the overpass. Ooh. Oh, no, that was... You know, if they could watch that whole, trans, you know, that whole transaction on film, that was not the best plays at the net that we've seen from either of these teams wow. as I was Gretchen I might say hmm, we're going to practice hitting overpasses yeah. this week in practice 10-6 Liberty Hill leading as Burnett has the serve when they start getting into playoffs they're going to have to put those balls down yeah. they're playing some good teams that are not going to give them those chances very often it's a kill by Emily Huppy hitting from the left side as number 10 Emma Parsons checks in, and number 17, Claire Kubesh. Is that Kubesh. A, uh -huh. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, Emma Parsons, a serve. Jump serve floater. 
Yeah. Good up by Liberty Hill, and that's number 17. Kubash bumped it over, and we'll play this game a little bit as the set goes over. Let that go out, please. Burn it. Kind of a lot of uh, unconventional volleyball right there. <laughs> right. Kind of just a lot of reaction time and sticking your arm out. Right. Like th we're not going to set up the offense. We're yeah, exactly no, what you said. Yeah. Let's. Re it, it was more reactionary. As Emma Parsons oh, serves, nice, nice really nice serve as that falls. That ball just dropped. It dropped right Came before the back the row. And then just dropped right, over, right past the 10-foot line for one of the few aces. Yeah, Have not very many. Aces tonight. Emma Parsons to serve, and nice bump, nice pass, and nice hit from Burden. Oh, nice up gosh. from Liberty Hill. Oh, oh no. that was <laughs> Emma Parsons with a great up. The set came back to her. She was going to knock that over, and then uh, she got a little tangled up with Ashley Nelson. Because they both said, no, I got it. We're going to make this amazing play, and it didn't quite happen. There's the serve to Liberty Hill, and that's hit. And put down by Claire Kubesh. Off the block. 14-7, Liberty Hill leading. And this will be Ashley Nelson back to serve. The libero, which... Is a fairly new position to volleyball. Maybe it's not even new. Uh, well, it depends your depends on your definition of new. Because yeah, it's pretty old. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, that would mean that I'm old. <laughs> I cannot. I can't accept that. All right, the hit from Liberty Hill goes out of bounds. 14-8. Liberty Hill leading. Want to give a shout out to Brian Peterson who just uh, checked in with us Aww. and said hello. Is he here? No, he's listening on the radio. Oh he's got kids gosh. at home. Of course he does. His wife's here coaching. Yeah. All right, Bernard puts that over. Good up from Liberty Hill, and that was number six, Emily Hupke with the hit. Good dig from Burnett. Burnett gets back row on that one, and. It finds the floor, 9-14. Nine, nine, a couple new players in for Liberty Hill. I think you can yep. kind of tell a little bit, right? Yeah, so they're, they're not quite meshing like they normally do, which is totally normal. And, you know, this is a great opportunity to put in players who maybe aren't going to play in a closer game. That was a good those younger players' experience. Good bump from Mia Hernandez. And Emily Huppy puts that down. What an up from Burnett as that went way high in the air. Free ball goes over. Oh, nice. Kill Lily Wilkins. And that's that's the attacking style oh that I think they want to see. The precision of Libera was added to the game of volleyball in 1999. 19 Not possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty new. Wow. Uh, serve goes over the net for Liberty Hill. And low set. Liberty Hill's able to get that over, and nice up by number 17, Claire Kubesh. Ball goes back to Burnett. Ashley Nelson what with the up. Rally. And that hit from Wukash, Wukash just goes yeah, a little just high. Behind her head, right? So she kind of hit behind it, sailed long. 99, that's not even possible. <laughs> that makes sense, though, because that was the year I exited volleyball, so. And that was only just a couple years ago that, like two or three years <laughs> ago that you stopped yes. playing. There's a serve from Burnett great to pass. Nelson. Yeah. Great pass, great hammer from Lily Wilkins. That. that was a beautiful play. Great, great pass off a good serve. Great pass, great set, and then... And then you got to finish, Finished right? it yep. with a commanding kill. This is number 11, Caitlin Workman to serve again for the Panthers. Tried to float that wide. one over. Went a little wide on the right side. Back to serve for Burnett, number two, Kyle. Right. <laughs> the uh, Liberty Hill crowd traveled pretty well tonight. Yeah. Good showing. Yep. 
And I was I was wa- I was kind of waiting to see if I was actually going to know anybody because I, I I spent some time living in Liberty Hill, and uh, and. You spent some time living there. You're like a legend I, there. Well, not in the volleyball world. Oh. <laughs> In what world are you? Well, baseball. Little league uh, baseball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really about it. And I don't even know if I'm a legend. I'm just just one, another volunteer. Another volunteer. Countless yep. hours. All right, this is number 15. Mackenzie Wukash to serve. Liberty, Liberty Hill leading 19-12. Nice bump. A little bump. bit of a different serve there. Yep. Didn't turn on they the tried to float that there. over and... Just long by Emily Huffy. All right, so Burnett's going to serve. This is number 16, Kayla Gillespie, or Dory, as her nickname <laughs> as she ah. is up on the board. Nice serve from Dory. That Great is pass. number 7, Mia Hernandez. Nice pass, but that's going to go just long. Yeah, a little low. So, again, she had to kind of get under it, so it just sailed long. She can get on top of it, though. Kinsey can put it down. Well, and if you are Burnett, you, you realize you kind of got to make a run now because yeah. this uh, this game's getting short. As nice yeah. hit by Huppy, and it's dug out. Me uh, Hernandez to the hit. Back to Huppy, and this one will not be returned. Me Hernandez is impressing me with her back row skills. She is. She's very a very solid contributor yes. back there. As Consistent, you know, stead- her, exactly. Productive and positive with it. 20 to 14. We have number 10, Emma Parsons, to serve for the Panthers. There's a lot of side outs in this game because I feel like Emma Parsons has served several times. Yeah, I agree. And that serve is not going to be returned. It just was a little floater. Burnett tried to return it, was not able to get a, a good return set up there. 21 14. This, is this a game is getting really short. Yep. Oh. Emma Parsons floating cute little serve. <laughs> cute little serve. <laughs> yeah. She was trying to put that someplace in particular. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Uh, nice up, but the uh, I didn't see who hit that for Burnett, but it was a well hit ball. That a little bit. Yeah. They weren't expecting somebody to get that out of the net. Well, and I think I, I think maybe they thought it was gonna gonna go, go over. over. Yeah, that could have been for sure. Again, they're two-man serve receive. All right, this is 15. Nessie. Nessie. <laughs> or Inez Reyes. As that ball goes long, 21-16 now. I like the aggressiveness by Mia Hernandez, though. That's pretty awesome. She's not She's not considering herself a uh, bench player. She's getting out there that's and right. being aggressive, and that's what she got to do. Well, and that's the hard part about, you know, when you are in a program like this, yeah. you have to develop – skills at the varsity level and so you know that means not always playing who you want to play at all times you have to you've got to develop your team through the years and uh, you know coach peterson is doing a nice job as that as emily hupke huppy hammers it down the left side 22 16 now liberty hill closing in i do feel like liberty hill definitely has a program right like a district program providing our, are producing great athletes from the middle school so when they get to high school they've kind of already started on the path ah my favorite Ashley slide. Nelson to Emma Parsons with the set and who put that down oh that was number 12 Lily Wilkins yeah so she's playing middle and she ran what's called a slide which is my favorite it's kind of like a basketball layup you go off one foot so you can jump even higher low line drive sir from Nelson it's going to be returned to Nelson. And then yeah. nice set by Parsons, put down by. And now we're looking at game point for Liberty Hill. <laughs> and this is this is legitimately game point from, from the last time that we broadcast <laughs> together. We didn't know it was game point. <laughs> Whoops. That was, but we learned that lesson. Yeah, that was our bad. You only hey. go to 15 points in game five. <laughs> who, who knew? Because we're like... <laughs> It appears that the fans believe this game is over <laughs> at one point. Oh, nice diving. Diving save by number seven, Mia Hernandez. Couldn't make it work, but she definitely gave it 100%. Yep. Coach Peterson adjusting her service from two-man to three-man. That's very smart. 
Nelson with the bump, and that goes to. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's a, a little interesting how it's going to end up. Burnett blocks it back over. Happy with the hit, and oh, Burnett's fighting. Yeah, They're Burnett fighting. doesn't want to oh. end this game, and that is going to go out of bounds. Yeah. Off of Burnett, and that'll be the ball game. Final score: Game three, twenty-five, eighteen. Well, there we go, live from Burnett. The, uh, the rivalry tonight is a little one-sided as the uh, Liberty Hill Panthers were, you know, they just played really well tonight. They they attacked well, they served well, they were aggressive. and They played real loose, too. You know, like they, they played like they expect to win, yep. but not, not entitled to win, but expect to go out there and, and command and... Um, do a great job. So I like that in a team. I like them to walk out there and know that they're they're good. Right. And they said, hey, guess what? We're gonna we're gonna take this game. Right. We're gonna make uh, some mistakes, but we're not gonna get too stressed. We're just gonna run our offense, do what we gotta do. Yep. Adjust to whatever comes to us. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. I believe we're gonna hear from Coach Peterson. Okay. That's what they told me. That's what we were promised. We're not leaving here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they may turn us off, but we will still be here. <laughs> That's right. We'll hear from Coach Peterson hopefully coming up next. It is Panthers Primetime on KMAX Sports. At Austin Pets Alive, the mission is to promote and provide the resources, education, and programs needed to eliminate the killing of companion animals. That means more happy pets joining more happy families every single day. In fact, Austin Pets Alive has saved more than 25,000 dogs and cats since 2008. And you can help. Adopt a new family member, help out with a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, and we all have at least one of those, you are needed. Visit AustinPetsAlive.com to get started. Austin Pets Alive. Helping people help pets. KMAX Sports is the largest online broadcast company in Central Texas. How large is that? Well, just imagine Inner Space Caverns, if it was full of sports. Okay, so, so which way to the game? Man, it sure is dark in here for sports. Ah, dang it! Ow! Oh, that hurt. Bringing your teams to you in the stadiums, ballparks, and gymnasiums where they belong. We are KMAX Sports. Do you love the game of football, wish you could be part of the action? Then become a football official. The Austin Football Officials Association is actively seeking new members to officiate games all across Central Texas. The Austin Football Chapter of TASO, the Texas Association of Sports Officials, provides a two-year training program for new members. Taught by a crew of veteran officials, these training classes meet each Monday night from July through November and include classroom and on-field instruction. You don't need to be an ex-player or a coach to become a great official and have a memorable officiating career. As our officials will tell you, working around student athletes at all levels of football is gratifying. Plus, you'll develop lifelong friendships with other officials who share your passion for the game. Officiating football is a great way to get into and stay in shape, be a positive role model for student athletes, retain your competitive edge, and earn additional income. Visit the Austin Football Officials Association online at afoa.ws for more information. That's afoa.ws. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B-Y-P-E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. You know when you're hanging at Lake Travis and you start craving pizza? Usually you panic and go hungry. Or worse, you make a pit stop at a sad food stand. But with Domino's Hotspots, you can get pizza delivered right to Arrowhead Park. In fact, now you can get Domino's delivered to over 50 outdoor locations around Lago Vista. No address required. When you order, enjoy any two or more medium two-topping pizzas for just $5.99 each every day. To at a minimum, handmade pan pieces will be extra. As for limited time offer prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Restrictions apply. Visit Domino's.com for details on Domino's Hotspot. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, 
just reach out to Chuck at KMaxSports.com or Merle at KMaxSports.com or contact that Sports Booster Club directly. KMax Sports will gladly work with you and the Booster Clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMax Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. Sail and Ski Center is a full-service boating lifestyle store. Whether it's selecting and purchasing a new or used boat, maintaining the boat you already have, or enjoying your boat with friends and family, Sail and Ski is dedicated to delivering the absolute best boat ownership experience for all of our customers. That's why Sail and Ski was voted Boating Industry Magazine's number one boat dealership in North America. Find us at our locations in Austin or in Lakeway or at www.sailandski.com. At Sail and Ski Center, we make selecting, owning, enjoying, and servicing your boat easy. Sound off. Tell us what you think right here on Twitter, at KMAX Sports. All right, we're back. And I, Coach Peterson, let's, let's, let's talk about this. I, I literally played every commercial that we owned. Waiting for you to finish the other interview. I know. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> I, this is like one of the first times I've come up after a game. Oh well, we should feel honored. Really? Yeah, they haven't they haven't wanted to talk to me very often, so I, I'm not oh. used to it. Oh, okay. Well, my bad then. I was told was no offense meant. Uh, I, w- I was I was told Coach Peterson will demand after s- <laughs> after the game interview. So introduce yourself to her. I said, Coach, Pe- I, we've known each other for a long time. It's all good. Hey, good game tonight, Coach. Thank you. So Thank you. so uh, you know. Did the game go as you expected? What was what were your goals? What did you kind of want? What did you want? Um, I mean, I think overall uh, there were moments where we played with a lot of intensity. I thought we pushed the tempo when we, at times. Um, I think we need to start getting more and more comfortable playing faster, um, and we have to do that in game so that we're ready to do that when we absolutely need to do it in playoffs. Um, Everyone contributed nicely. We had a ton of people coming off the bench, and it's great to see them being able to kind of step in and fill those roles because that's not an easy job. And I thought they did a really good job of handling that role and that responsibility. Um, Serve receive, I thought, looked pretty strong. Um, And I think we made some – probably had a few more hitting errors than I would have liked to see, but a lot of those were really aggressive plays or the aggressive looks or they were – the thought process was there. Right. So we, we would prefer, you know, obviously no hitting errors, but sometimes we're going to make those swings. So overall, I thought it was a complete game. There's always something we can improve on. Um, well, if, the, if if you didn't say that, then it'd be like that, that would not I be your job as a I coach. Know, I know. And we have high standards and high expectations. And so uh, I sometimes have to remind myself, you know, it's a win is a win, and we're always happy with the win. <laughs> uh, tell us about your team. Um Age-wise, experience-wise, and and, and uh, let's go back one year. You guys had a deep playoff run last year, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and who did you lose? Uh, and so I tend to remember the, uh, we lost yeah, a lot. So we graduated five seniors last year, and all of them played. So uh, and that was a a group that had been with us since freshman year. So they were a very well-seasoned group. They played well together. They they were a family. Um, and so a lot of these girls that were on varsity last year really had a great year last year in terms of learning from those kiddos, but they didn't get a, l- a lot of playing time. And so uh, we have some ups and downs. We also have, I think, well, well we I don't I, we have a freshman setter, we have a sophomore setter, we have a, a sophomore middle, and a sophomore outside. So we're very very young in terms of of experience, but in terms of talent and potential, there's a ton there. So it's just a matter of us really kind of finding our way and 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 learning and and going and and being challenged. And and I think they're doing a great job of that. And um, but yeah, it's a brand new team in essence in terms of the roles people are playing, the positions are being asked to play, and the things they're being asked to do. Uh, how's the uh, how's the I'm looking at district right now. Are y'all undefeated in district so far? Yes. Okay. Um, and how much of the season do you have left? Do you about this mid- was just the start of second start half. of second half? Okay. Yes. Um, and uh, so you feel pretty comfortable getting going the second half and um we still have Salado and Salado gave us a really good game last time and so they're and we play at Salado next Tuesday so that's going to be a good game um, and everybody's better I mean that's the the thing about volleyball basketball softball any of these sports that play two rounds you see everybody the first round. And then they all get to go back and work on what you need to work on. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's a little bit different than, like, say, football, where you just got to beat them once and then you're done. And right. so uh, it's always a little bit different the second time around. And so we definitely need to be focused and uh, show everyone the respect they deserve and not take anything lightly. Well, that's awesome. Ms. Stoner, any questions? I mean, this is your shot. Uh, I, 
I was just intrigued. You have a lot of depth with setting. We had three different setters out there tonight. So, I mean, I, I, we talked about Emma Parsons quite a bit, but then also you had um, who Emily else Allred in? and Caitlin Wood. Yeah, yeah, Emily Allred's got great hands. Are they young? I, I wish we had a roster. Yeah, with, so with Emma is a there. freshman. And um, wow. Allred's oh, a sophomore. Oh, is she really? And she's a sophomore. Workman was with us last year, and she's a senior. Okay. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just something that, um, you know, when you have setters – you really want to hold on to them because yeah. the setters are hard to come by. Right. And so uh, we're really, really blessed to have a lot of depth in that in that particular uh, position because that is not something that we've even had, even at Liberty Hill, but it, a lot of programs don't have. And they're all getting better. All Red also swings great, great from the right side. Really? And so we have some options. And with them being so young, there's a lot of things we can develop with them. Yeah, I was intrigued about with the 5-1. I thought that was an interesting choice, just with your depth of, of setters. But um, so Kinsey. Escamilla, tell yes. me about her. So, so she she's a sophomore as well. Oh um, so oh she made, she made, she was on varsity last year, but broke her foot like right out of the gate. Okay. So she missed almost all of, well, she missed all of the preseason last year and uh, came back for the last half of district, just like back row clearance only, like didn't get to do a ton. So sort of like her red shirt year, right? right? So this is her go year. I mean, this is where she's been full go. Um, and she's right side typically. That's she's a right. Thing. She's a right side. Uh, I think you know also swings great from the outside. Is so she? there's some options there, and we work on we work on both. But um, she's a dynamic player. She you has like a her right side for blocking. I do, okay. I do, and I just think she does a little bit better job of, of stepping in and, and reading a couple things and set her digs first ball. So we like her there, but she swings great from the outside as well. Yeah. Um, and because she is so young, I think it's a good position to put her in not as quite the much she doesn't have as much pressure on her in terms of the right yeah. side but as she gets going i mean she's a very uh she's versatile versatile player yeah. and also i don't Woo think Cash a lot of people impressive tonight too. yeah uh, again kid that didn't play a ton last year she was a hitter up until her junior year and we turned her into a libero last year so they're they're yeah. you know just what, a what young year is she she's a senior okay um so i mean just a young experienced group of kids that work really, really hard and are just really trying to get the best that they can. And so that's all you can ask as yeah. a coach. You guys are fun to watch. Thank you. Fun. Thanks for coming out. It was fun. It was our pleasure. All right, this is going to wrap it up for Panthers Primetime. Coach Peterson, thanks for joining us. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Have a great evening. Y'all too.